It's after midnight here in the Northeast. It is now my birthday, says Dagan. Also happens All to right. be Brian Danielson's birthday. What are some of your fondest birthday members? What a way to get a birthday shout uh, out. Dagan? Fondest birthday memories. I don't know. They're all fine. They're, oh, just, uh, they're just days. You're a little closer to death. You're a little older. You well, know. Most of my birthdays have been uh, doing stuff I did not want to do. So That's fair. Day anyway. I spent the whole TNA. month yeah. celebrating my yeah. life every year. Yeah. I actually started early this year. I started celebrating in May. Yeah. Wow, that... that. <laughs> Okay, I'm a big fan of the birth month idea, but that's that. That even I think that's a little. Uh, over well, the line. I wasn't planning on it, but extravagant. Like, you know, I wanted to get something, and the opportunity made itself, so I bought it for my sure. birthday. Fair enough. In May. I, I, almost every year, I go to uh, uh, Daniel's Broiler in Seattle and get a really good steak. That's okay. a good memory right there. Good steak and some scotch. Yeah, that's I've uh, I've always liked to not get gifts and have experiences. Sure. So there's been many a concert on my birthday, or uh, last year we ended up, uh, you know, taking a week and, uh, you know, going down to the coast, and you know, cool. Experience way better than gifts. First, is it safe to say the international title has jumped the TNT title in terms oh, God, of importance? Yes. Because I of think Orange when they announced Cassidy. it, oh. well, they deserve a title match versus MGF if when someone else wins. Well, no, I don't want him going just to lose to MJF. That's But, true. yes, if you look at uh, how is the Wardlow TNT title run, not just Wardlow, it, it but if you back. look at the last six months of the TNT title, where it's like Wardlow had it, more than it that. and then, you know, he lost it, and then Hobbs won it, and then you thought they were going to do something with Hobbs, and, like, two months nope. later they just had Wardlow beat it, beat him for it, and now, you know, Wardlow squashes blokes and everything. The international title is far, yeah. far surpassed the TNT title because 100%. the champions had 21 straight title defense and every single match has been great. Thank you. How could Absolutely. it not? Thank you. It's it's not all Wardlow and this this current run and other runs he's had. If you, you can go back and there was a time when like uh, Cody Cody Rhodes it was long enough ago that Cody Rhodes was feuding with Sammy over this title and uh, that part was still great and like it went downhill quickly after that. It was the part where they started hot potatoing it. It changed like three times in two months or something. And yeah. It was awesome and for a while. I, I don't mind the hot potato if like if Orange Cassidy was having a bunch of great matches and then he lost the belt to Roosh and then he had like three straight great title defenses with him and then Orange beat him and then went back to another five great t- It wouldn't matter to me one bit. What matters is is it defended? Are the matches great? Does it feel like oh, the right. champion is important? Obviously, it's better to have 21 straight wins rather than hot potatoing it. But, you know, doing a hot potato every now and then is not inherently wrong. Every now and then, you should let people know. Hey, there's no guarantee because this guy, it's like with MJF. All right, MJF faced Brian Danielson. Who thought Brian Danielson was winning? Probably nobody. I mean, mm-hmm. you might have thought, you know, he could win. He'd be a great champion, but... What are the chances? Not likely. What are the chances the Pillars beat MJF? Not likely. Even the next title, even Adam Cole. How many people think that Adam Cole, probably more, but still, it's like that's one of the things with the AEW title is the champion always holds it for an extended period of time. So there should be a champion at some point that wins it and loses it in his first defense. And then he can win it back or whatever, or maybe not. Maybe you just want to put the title on one guy just to teach people that. But every now and then, you've got to surprise people. Otherwise, they just they don't believe anything's going to happen. Two months ago, Wardlow won the title from Samoa Joe and lost it to Hobbs three days later. Well, yeah. You've already forgotten. No, I remember that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm, the, I'm looking uh, over their official history. I remember that site. because it happened in, in San Francisco, and Hobbs was going to get his title match in San Francisco. And uh-huh. I had been thinking for months that Hobbs needed to win the title. And when Wardlow won the title, I thought, are they really going to switch into Hobbs in three days? Because they should, but it's going to be a three day title rate. And they did. They did. They did. Scorpio Sky. I think that's the point where it start, started to go south. Oh, yeah. Scorpio Sky, a two time TNT champion, uh, starting in March of 2022. You know the funny thing about uh, Orange Cassidy, he's had, he arguably he, he you could say he's like been the best thing on Dynamite for for months, mm-hmm. and and the payoff for all of that is putting him in a battle royal. 
Well, I see your point, but I, I, yeah. I, I do think they're they're going to do the old. They're calling it a blackjack battle royal, but I think it's going to be the casino battle royal they've done, and whoever the surprise okay. entrant is is going to be a name, and I think that's going to be the person who. Uh, who ends this great run, honestly. Well, we'll see, okay. won't we? We've thought that a couple of times. That's true. I've That's been wrong true. before. See, B.A. has a question here, and he a uh, wrong question, brother. He says, do you have a favorite condiment or sauce? Here's the problem. Uh-oh. Every different food, for example, hot dogs. I love ketchup on my hot dogs. Okay. I do not want barbecue sauce on my fucking hot dog. Have but if I have ribs, I want barbecue sauce on the ribs, and it's going to be better than ketchup. If I have a chicken burger, I want mayonnaise on it. I don't want mayonnaise on my ribs. I don't want I don't want ketchup on my chicken burger. You understand? There's there's different condiments that make different foods taste better. Yeah. No, I agree. I'm trying to think of uh I don't know, that Chick-fil-A sauce. Gross. You can put that on you can put that on almost anything. Just saying. Like crystal hot sauce is good on pretty much everything. Doubtful. I mean, you're not chocolate cake. I was going to say, you're going to put crystal Although there hot are pe- sauce on chocolate cake? There are people who like spicy cake. Speaking spicy of cake, cake, you know there's a new Brazilian steakhouse at the Alderwood Mall. I heard one was going to open. That's oh, it opened, all right. I, I went there last night. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, I mean, it was multiple thumbs up because uh, both children ate free. Oh, okay. And, uh, and they're your kids. God damn, they you should 17 see. 17 pounds of food. You should see how much these kids can eat. Paisley... Paisley ate so much steak. Like, I she just kept eating and eating, and she would eat all of it, and then she'd go, more steak! <laughs> I was like, this is my kid, all right. Uh, have you ever been more proud? And then Hanalei ate, like, she pretty much ate the entire salad bar single-handedly, and steak. Anyway, the point of all of this is, you know, it was, it was great. You know, they're just piling steak on our plates. I think because the place has just opened up, they want to put up a, you know... They want to put a good... Uh, Get them good Yelp reviews. Yep, yeah. so they, they just sure. pile this steak up on your plate. My one complaint is, you know, it's a Brazilian steakhouse, but they have this cheesy bread. Okay. And uh, we could not get this fucking cheesy bread. I We must have asked a dozen times, oh, it's in the oven, oh, it's in the oven. And, uh, you know, finally at the end, I'm just... Every, anytime someone came by with a skewer, I'm like, could I get some cheesy bread? And so finally they bring the cheesy bread, you know, Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the manager comes by. And, uh, you know, the manager comes by to see how you're doing? Sure. Mm-hmm. Never had a manager come by and he goes, anything you'd like to talk about? <laughs> like, are you a psychiatrist? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you asking me here? That's, that, that's what sounds like uh, when you do something wrong. Yeah. And your parent finds out about it. Yeah. And they, they want to yeah. give you a chance to confess. Like, that, Right. What did you do wrong to this steakhouse guy? I don't know. Hmm. I said, uh, uh no, everything was great. And so he brought the dessert menu, and they had a lava cake. Right. It's $12 lava cake. And sure. at the Brazilian steakhouse, when you see $12 lava cake, you're like, is that actually expensive or is that cheap? <laughs> so we got the lava cake, and uh, not a very good lava cake. Mm. It was pretty shitty, in fact. Oh, wow. When yeah. I won't eat a whole lava cake, that's telling you something. Right. So we went across the street to Crumble. boy. Got a big old cookie. Mm. But anyway, yeah, it was real one? good. I don't know what the point of this was. Yeah, no. there's news. Something about condiments, maybe? They were talking about condiments. Yeah. But yeah. then I realized we're going to another Brazilian steakhouse in just a few days in Vegas. Sure. Yeah. So. You know they have a Texas Day Brazil like 20 minutes from my house now? They're everywhere now. There's two in Bellevue. There's two okay. in Bellevue. There's one in Alderwood. They're all over the place. But Fogo, okay. I think this one's a Fogo de Chao. And it's I can't Texas tell Day the Brazil. difference between Texas Day Brazil and Fogo de Chao. They're all the same. Sure. They're, yeah. they're all the same. I mean, I've been to all of them. The only one the only one I could ever tell you that's any different was the one we went to in, of all places, Boise, Idaho, oh. which was the best Brazilian steakhouse I ever went to because their salad bar was actually like a buffet. You could get pasta, huh. and you could get all of this other stuff. And then, you know, they, they, they kept bringing us all of this meat, and then they, they actually brought a skewer with a... a Pineapple on it. They're slicing Ooh, pineapple nice, off of it. Yeah. Never saw that before. That place yeah, was that great. They had Tabor's soup. Hill. They had like this thick soup of some sort. And then it was like eighteen dollars for lunch. There, there's the there well. It is. Yeah, the, uh, I was ready to move to Boise. I ain't bad at all. No, it was not. 
the worst one was uh was it Ipanema Grill in the downtown Seattle. Yeah, Ipanema. that place that place absolutely sucked and they went out of business. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's closed. Yeah. Where we were like, bring us more steak. And they almost I don't have any. Essentially said no. <laughs> it was yeah. not. Yeah, you know what they don't have now? Steak. Or customers. Because they're out of business. Yeah. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh. What are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo! Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.